Let's do hands-on with AWS Snow Family. Snow Family processes data at the edge and migrates data into and out of AWS. Using AWS Snow Family, you can create a large data migration plan. For example, for migration greater than 500 terabyte. The Snow Family comprises AWS Snow Cone, AWS Snowball, and AWS Snowmobile. The Snow Family offers a number of physical devices and capacity points with built-in computing capabilities. You can order an AWS Snow Family device from the Snow Family console. On this page, you have the option to choose a job type for your AWS Snow Family device. We have here the following job types. Import into Amazon S3, export from Amazon S3, local compute and storage only, and import virtual tapes into AWS Storage Gateway. These are common use cases of using AWS Snow Family. Let's look into what it says about each of these. First is import into Amazon S3 job, which is the default selection. When you choose this job type, AWS will ship an empty device to you for storage and compute workloads. You will transfer your data into the Snow Family device and ship it back to AWS. After getting the device, AWS will move the data to S3. The next job type is export from S3. You can also export data from Amazon S3 for storage and compute workloads. AWS will load the data back onto a device and ship it to you. When you are done with your export job, ship the device back to AWS for erasing. Another job is local compute and storage only. We can order devices to perform local compute and storage workloads without transferring data. And the last job type here is to import virtual tapes into AWS Storage Gateway. In this job type, AWS will ship an empty device to you that you can use as a tape gateway. You will transfer data into it as virtual tapes and ship it back. After AWS gets it, your data will be ingested and shown as virtual tapes from the AWS Storage Gateway console. Now we've got a basic idea about various job types, let's choose the default one, Import in Amazon S3. Enter the job name. Here we have different options for snow devices. We have Snow Cone, Snow Cone SSD, Snowball Edge Storage Optimize, Snowball Edge Compute Optimize, Snowball Edge Compute Optimize with GPU, and Snowball Edge Compute Optimize with different high-end options. There is a possibility we may see more options here in the future. Let's select Snowball Compute Optimized. We have different pricing options here. On-demand per day pricing, monthly pricing, one-year commit upfront pricing, three-year commit upfront pricing. Then we have the storage type, which is S3 data transfer. The next is what AMI you want to use. You can use your device as a mobile data center by loading EC2 AMI. For example, we can use this Amazon Linux 2 for Snow Family. This is optional. Next, which S3 buckets do you want to import data to? Here it also says that for export jobs, the data in the directory will be erased when devices are returned to AWS. Since I do not have any bucket, let me create a new bucket. Now click on Next. Here there is an option for AWS IoT Greengrass. Essentially, this feature enables easy onboarding of IoT workloads for snow devices but this is optional. We can do remote device management by signing up for Ops Hub or Snowball clients. Click on Next. Here it asks what type of encryption do we want. The default is AWS Import Export. You can also create your own KMS key and use that for encryption. Then we need to create a service role. And then you need to provide the shipping address and shipping speed. We also need to provide an SNS topic so that SNS can send you an email as your job status changes. If you click on Next, you will get the job summary. Remember, the most common use case of AWS Snow Family is to send large amounts of data into and out of Amazon S3. It also provides remote computation capability. The Snow Family devices of three types, AWS Snow Cone, AWS Snowball, and AWS Snowmobile,